everybody welcome back to us told by ray i'm your girl ray and this is my youtube channel vip please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel also do not forget to turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every single time i post you want to be notified so that you can be a part of the ray fam aka the littlest fam in the youtube land that's on period do not forget to follow me on my instagram and my twitter they're both linked down below in the description box for your convenience while you're down there in the description box please do not forget to follow me on my twitch my patreon and the YouTube membership. Twitch is for going live, Patreon is for unedited content, and the YouTube membership is just, you know, to get videos a little bit earlier than everybody else. So, in today's video, we're going to be watching The Vampire Diaries, episode 19 of season five. I'm over it, honestly, but you know, we're gonna keep pushing. I'm eating as usual, so please excuse me. Let's get into it. Psychology, sociology, and anthropology share the assumption that scientific methods can be used to understand human behavior. Very good, as in verbatim, which means that I need to ask you more difficult questions. You know what's crazy? All of the shit they going through, I'm wondering how they graduated high school, how they doing well enough to still be in college. Like, all of the shit they have going on, and you mean to tell me they is out here getting diplomas while doing all of this? Like, I commend them because, child, degrees and diplomas, child. She's in denial. So I see. I'm not in denial. The other side is disintegrating. As the anchor to the other side, I'm only alive as long as there is another side. I'm perfectly aware of the threat of my impending death. Man. There's nothing I can do about it. It's called acceptance. Fifth stage of grief. Look it up, Tudor Gay. Definitely in denial. Yeah. Look, Bonnie, I've already lost you once. We're not doing this again. It's not an option, okay? That is so sad that Bonnie dies so many times on this show that Sorty is just used to it. Like, she's used to bad things happening to her, so she assumes the worst, as I would too. If all of the bad shit that happened to Bonnie happened to me, girl. Well, I'm so sorry I interrupted whatever weird ritual you two were doing. But I just want to deep passenger the great citizens of Mystic Falls using your magical traveler knife. So, hand it over. It's going to be a problem. Five words that make me want to vamp toss my keys into your chest cavity. Lil Gilbert, help me in the fight against my dark side and elaborate, please. We can't find it. As in you lost it? As in it's not here. You're right, don't invite me in, because I will kill both of you. Tyler said he hid it in the piano. And when was the last time you heard from Tyler? They ain't heard from Tyler in all this time that they was looking for it and nobody thought to... F this is what I'm talking about. Nobody thought, hey, maybe we should call up Tyler again and maybe, like, ask him again where it's at. Nobody thought to do that. Everybody was just going to continue looking for it in the place where Tyler said it was going to be. Like, the stupid shit they do sometimes. 2,000 years ago, the witches put a curse on our tribe. So nature would turn against us should we ever attempt to settle as a people. We have lived without a home, roaming like cattle. Why is, does everything bad that happens involve the witches first? Like, why is that a thing? I think that is so weird. The prophecy states that we can break that curse. But in order to undo a witch's curse, one must have the power to undo a witch's magic. Our faithful Sloane has volunteered to be the, how do you say, guinea pig of our little experiment. Drink. Embarrassing. Are you ready, Slow? I'm ready. You don't have to know where I can find the trap. So they all trying to turn into vampires in order to break the curse? Oh, because if you're dead, then I guess the curse wouldn't matter because you dead. But at the same time, I don't understand how turning into vampires really solves the issue because then if they're vampires, they're not travelers, so. What are you doing here? I can't join my friends for a cup of tea. Damon, your friend, uh, Sunar, <laughs> isn't here and we're a little busy right now. I like that Stefan keeps that same energy with Enzo because as the fuck he should. Like, sir, we are not friends. We are not buddies. We're not pals. Please do not get confused. She never got too close, never took off her vervain bracelet, but we spent hours and hours talking and we developed an attachment. Now, she left in 1950. I imagine her one day teaching one of these fancy universities, starting a family, living her life to the fullest. I'm sure you two can appreciate that. What's going on? 
That traveler girl, Sloane, gave me this yesterday. Making good on a promise. <clears throat> From the Augustine files left behind by our good Dr. Wells. What? Yes. Imagine how I felt when I saw it. Turns out Maggie died in 1960 in Mystic Falls. Someone tore her head right off her body. 1960, were you? A ripper, clearly. What? I wasn't a ripper then. I'm really sorry about your friend, but I had nothing to do with it. So what you might say. Okay, before we get into this, how does Enzo know that it was Stefan though? Because Stefan has been, you know, vegetarian vampire for a long time. So I'm like wondering how he just knows that it was Stefan. Or I mean, I guess the only vampires that really fancy Mystic Falls are them. So it's either him or Damon. Imagine it was Damon. Damon is already on my shit list. Even though we got back together. I know, don't say nothing. Even though we got back together, he's still on my shit list because she been fucking up too bad. How did you compel everyone here? Place opens at eight. You go here at nine. Do the math, college girl. <laughs> I will gladly release them once you admit you killed Maggie. I would love to, except I have absolutely no idea who she is. That's what this is for. Police found her on her body at the crime scene. I feel like Stefan is usually a very honest person, so I don't see why he would lie about something like this. So I kind of believe, low key, that he didn't do it. Cause I feel like if Stefan did it, he would say he did it. Cause he's all like guilt written and shit. Like. Even on his face, it don't look like he did it. How is it travelers are everywhere until you actually need to find one? I'm going poorly, then. It's what I get for working with the Hardy Boys. I take it you don't have Stefan's diaries handy. I need you to check his journal for an entry on November 8th, 1960. Stefan burned his journals a while ago. He was in a mood. Why? Ah, just trying to settle a little debate. No matter, I'm right. Why are you hanging in there, man? I heard you exiled Elena from your eye line. How'd you hear that? Are you with them right now? Not for long. I reckon one will be dead soon. Eye for an eye and all that. Whoa, 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 Enzo. You have your murder voice on. And you just speak very slowly, very calmly, and tell me what the hell the problem is. Well, the problem, if you must know, is that my girl Maggie, the one who got away, turns out she didn't get away for long. Your ripper of a brother took a big bite out of her neck membrane in the 60s. The 60s? Stefan wasn't even... Got a jet, mate. Nothing personal, just a bit of revenge. You understand? <sighs> You're okay. <laughs> Forget this ever happened. And run. Gold star for impulse control. Don't worry. I'm not here to judge. Who the hell are you? Maggie James. And you're Stefan Salvatore. I'm gonna still give Stefan the benefit of the doubt, even though he is talking to Shorty. I just do not believe that he killed her. I think it was Damon. I'm going with that. Why are you so obsessed with my brother? He knew a friend of mine who died in a fire. I was hoping you'd know where to find him. Uh, why don't you do yourself a favor and stay away from my brother? He's a monster. Fell off the rails a couple of years ago. There's no talking sense into him. Well, it's a good thing I don't want to talk to him. I want to kill him. <laughs> So you want me to tell you where my brother is so that you can kill him? You just said he's a lost cause. I'd be doing the world a favor. <laughs> well, it's too bad you're not doing yourself any favors. No, no! That was Maggie. No, I guess. <sighs> Stefan, I gave you the benefit of the doubt, babe. I did. I, I gave you the benefit of the doubt. But also, I see where Stefan is coming from. She wanted to kill Stefan because Damon, she thought Damon killed Enzo. And she just, how does she know it was Damon who killed Enzo? Like, I'm I'm really confused. I killed Maggie. I tore out her throat and I ripped her head off. I completely forgot about her until now. That's the truth. Now let her go. Embarrassing. Bay. Take her upstairs. Why is Elena here? That's the question I'm wondering. Like, what the fuck do Elena got to do with this? Poor baby, just because she involved with Damon and Stefan, she in all of their drama. 
Hate that for her. Died November 8th, 1960. Unresolved homicide. Possible serial killer. Ooh. Stefan was right. He didn't kill Enzo's girl. How do you know? Because you did. Because I did. Fuck, bae. I said that at the beginning. I knew Damon did it. Like, he always gotta be doing some shit. Like, this is disgusting. Make me a vampire. I'll save you. We'll run away together. Don't you want to be with me? More than anything in this world. Then I'm ready. Dr. Whitmer's back. You need to hurry. Come closer. Take my hand. and never come back and when you go forget i ever existed forget that i love you so enzo could have got out but chose not to he chose against love stadium seating really necessary people started to creep me out if i didn't know any better i'd say there was a veiled attempt to get me to release the damn hostages oh i'm sorry was that veiled release the damn hostages whose side are you on there are sides now? You were there with me in Augustine. Look, don't tell me you've forgotten what it was like to cling onto the one thing that kept you from feeling pain. The thing is, I didn't know she was your Maggie. Very loud, lots of screaming. So I heard. I'm afraid that's a little glib to quote for the Gazette, seeing as over a dozen people died. Sensitive readership. Gotcha. See, I have a switch in my brain. Feel something that I want to feel. It's gone. <gasps> Easy as pie. Mm. You really are a monster. <clears throat> I'm not fan of needles. Oh, and Augustine. How refreshing of you to find me. I usually have to hunt you people down. That man did that outside in public and nobody saw that shit. I'm fucking floored. I'm floored. You killed Maggie. I didn't even bat an eye. <laughs> this is My so bad. My switch was off, Enzo. I did a lot of terrible things. But I didn't do it to make your life miserable from every angle. I did it because I didn't care. Just do whatever it is you got to do. You want to kill me? You want to hate me? Do it. This is between us. That's the problem, Damon. I don't want to hate you. Because if I hate you, then I have nothing left. There is another option. I know you're lying. Forget that I love you. In order for me to save myself and leave you, I had to shut off my humanity, damn it. So I flipped the switch, and I felt nothing. No remorse. Oh no regret, my god. No pain. This man is about to flip his fucking switch. <sighs> Please don't turn off your emotions. Don't you dare. Hey, Enzo! There we are. You're right. I don't have a care in the world. <sighs> That's bad. This is bad. How are they supposed to know when the curse breaks? It'll just be broken. Like, is there some big, like, excl exclamation or some shit? Like, Bastard, you took it later. Let's go. No, hey, Stefan. You deal with her, I'll find it. He's gonna kill her, you know that, right? I can handle him. Damon! I said I can handle him. He wants to hurt you in any way he can. You can't save him. Cutting all this out of your life is the answer? But you're just biding time until it all comes crashing back. I know why Damon doesn't want to deal with you anymore. You know, shut up. 
I mean, but she is right because turning off your emotions is not necessarily turning them off. It's like suppressing them. So when your emotions come back on, all of that shit shocks you and hits you at once. That's why it's like the stages you go through when your emotions get back because really you're supposed to let that shit out. Like you're supposed to feel stuff. You're not supposed to just be a fucking statue. Hey, Stefan, where's Big Brother? I don't know. Guess I found you first. One thing Stefan and Damon Salvatore are gonna do is save Elena. That's one thing they always gonna do forever. Say goodbye to your friends, Bonnie. The other side's just like any other spell. You know how that works. Just like any other recipe or math equation, you remove one component and the whole thing implodes on itself. When those travelers let Marcos escape, boom. But there's always another spell, a loophole, a sacrifice, something. Why would something like the other world be a fragile, like that fragile of a spell to where if one thing goes wrong, all of that shit is coming down? Like you would think a witch would have like spells on spells on spells, like that shit would be fully guarded. And then how like, what kind of a flaw is witchcraft shit if all you gotta do is one of the components shift and then the shit like fails? That don't seem like something reliable to use for some shit that's literally called the other side. Like, I bet you wish you'd murder me back when you had the chance. Damon didn't find it suspicious that she was just laying in the middle of the ground. Like, I'll be like, come in to help Stefan. That is so sad when Damon's gonna have to kill Enzo. Although I hope Enzo kind of stays. He deserves some redemption. Everybody else gets redemption on this damn show. Even when you don't want him to. Tyler. My brother. You see something good in you. And you. And there are parts of you that thinks I can be redeemed. Not with your emotions off. You won't stop until you kill Damon. Better yet. I'm gonna be a sweet piece of revenge when Damon finds out you killed his best friend. Have fun sorting this out with your brother. What? That I don't agree with. Like, and so if you was gonna go, you you really could have went. Like, you you really could have left. However, to 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 cause a rift between statement statement between death Devin statement and Devin. What the fuck? Like between Stefan and Damon for like some petty shit that you got going on is unfair. To affect their brother relationship is crazy. He shouldn't have lied. Stefan should have just told him the truth. Enzo's dead. Did you? Yeah. Does Damon know? Basically just killed my brother's only friend. No, 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 dear Stefan. He killed himself. I will not allow you to feel guilt for that. That man killed himself. You were saying, I believe you can be saved. Damon believe you can be saved. Let's get you some redemption, my boy. Turn your feelings back on. Stefan wasn't going into it trying to kill him, but also Stefan wasn't going to let him kill him. Like, hello? I feel like the only thing Stefan is wrong about is letting Damon know, making Damon believe that Enzo was in Cape Horn. Yeah, Cape Horn. That's the only thing I feel like Stefan did wrong. He should have just told Damon, explained to him what happened. Even if Damon didn't, like, forgive him or whatever, respectfully, they got the rest of their lives to do whatever it is the fuck that they be doing, so. Damon thinks that Enzo left town. We need to keep it that way. We barely just got him back. This would destroy him. <sighs> or it's gonna destroy him when he inevitably finds out later because, you know, everybody finds out everything in this fucking show. Okay, you got your super serious face on. Do I? In light of the Tyler thing, it's probably nothing. But... Um, come on. What is it? You this dying is probably nothing. I, I don't know what's going on. But if it does go away, Liv thinks there might be a way to save me, so. She should have told the truth. The moment of truth. Are you still a vampire? Or is the prophecy true? 
Did the doppelganger blood revert you back to your human form? I'm not healing. I'm not a vampire anymore. Congratulations. If we can undo the magic in Mystic Falls, we can undo the witch's curse that prevents us from finding a home. We'll finally have a place to settle. Sadly, I'm afraid you won't be able to enjoy it with us. What? Oh. The doppelganger blood removes magic. Unfortunately, without the magic of vampirism to keep her alive, Sloane has reverted to her final human state. So now she's just dead. Exactly, Julian. She's dead. That's crazy. Such is the fate of any vampire that tries to live in our new home. We're almost ready to begin our work. Why do, why do they have to choose Mystic Falls? Like, I'm sure there are so many other places that they could have settled down and Mystic Falls had to be the one. So you're going to come to Mystic Falls where you know vampires live who have been living there for longer than you have and you're going to claim it as your new home and then anyone who wants to stay there has to die to some place that you moved in on? Boy, if you don't get the fuck out of here... Oh, Tip. absolutely not. I'm the reason Enzo's in our lives. I'm the reason he wants us dead. It's all my fault, and I'll fix it, okay? He was there for me when I was at my worst. I'll find a way to be there for him. I'll get him back. I'll fix it. This is why Damon should know. Well, either way, I think it's time you leave Enzo alone. Can't. Come on, Damon. He's not your responsibility. What, you're the only one that gets to play hero? Or you just don't think I can do it? I think that he's not worth saving. You don't know what you're talking about, Stefan. Really? Yeah, because you know what you never knew? The whole time I was in that cell, every time I'd say something terrible about you or blame you for not coming to rescue me, Enzo would bring me back from the edge. I mean, I know you guys were close. Enzo reminded me that at least I got to grow up with a family. At least I had family still out there, which is more than he could say for himself. Said he envied me for having a brother. Even a crappy one like me? Even a crappy one like you. He defended you, Stefan, even though he didn't know you. Said it was good that we had people on the outside, people just living their lives free and clear of our Augustine hell. This is why people he should know. holding on to our humanity for. Because we love them. And all that time as a prisoner, every time I wanted to give up on you, Enzo stopped me from hating you. And that's why I have to help him. And I owe him for that. Tell him, Stefan. And so do you. It's too late to make amends, Damon. You know me. Never let go of a good vendetta. And this one is just getting started. I hate this. Bye.